Give it a little assistance. Um, it's getting pretty hot in the kitchen. About 10 minutes. Um, maybe 10 to 30 minutes I can get by with uh, them being off right now. But um, <clears throat> I really don't think anything I'm doing right now is helping. I'm just busy tonight. But I'll give it our best shot. Whatever. Let's... Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Found an excuse to use my testo probes. Um, but I, I gotta tell you, um, sometimes it takes these a while to sync up with your phone. Man, this thing took almost ten minutes. Serious. I've synced them up. This is my new phones, and I've synced them up to it before just to get everything and took the Fahrenheit and changed it from you know meters and bars and all that bullshit changed it to English you know but they're all synced up I'm gonna test the smart probes we're gonna find out why this uh, stupid Aeon unit is freezing up so it's gonna take a it's gonna take a second for this to uh, fire up When it does, put this over here. Oh man, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. So it's not on right now, so all the pressures and stuff are just. All right, I hear the relay click for the uh, fan to come on there. Should fire up here in a second. But it's definitely freezing up. So there's all your information right there if you want to know. I mean, this is the first time I, I use my testos legitimately and I, I'm just getting into this so I, I don't know Look at the pressure rising let's open the reheat valve I guess Unload just right off the bat like that? Really? Six point two, five point. Yeah, this is what happens when you put it on an unloader, I guess. <laughs> It's just gonna drop to zero. Oh man. See if it stops the unloading crap. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. I bet you it's low on Freon. I just look and see.
So this is what you get with uh, unloading and loading. It's going to shoot down to zero when it unloads. So. What it does. Takes that head pressure off. Squirts it back into the system there. I bet you it's still going to freeze up. I mean. And it's way, way too cold, man. Wow. Let's see what, what temperature I got on my. Yeah, there you go. Evaporated temperature is 27.2 degrees. 26 degrees. I mean, again, I, there's nothing I can really do with this, but you guys wanted to see uh, one of these babies in action with gauges on it well here you go <clears throat> all right there it goes it's super hot super hot boy i keep losing the sub cooling it's like it's stuck it's stuck now, so. I hope I'm doing this right, guys. That damn. Stay right there. If they ain't gonna give me sub cooling, what the, what the freak's the deal, man? It stopped its unloading, so. Let it go for a bit. See if it's gonna freeze up on me again. Looks like it's gonna do good. But you saw it, it was uh, it was about five, six degrees subcool. I'm waiting for the other stage to kick on. Let's check these again. Right, so the second stage hasn't kicked on. Um, the only one compressor's running. There it goes. There we go. Welcome back, baby. Alright, so that one's going to start doing its little unloading thing again. I don't know why this isn't giving my sub -coat. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but uh, there's a graph right there. It's, uh, I think it's low. It looks low to me. Evaporator's 29 degrees is below freezing. So that's definitely gonna put it low. Now the question is, why is it low? Yeah, that's, it's already, it's freezing up already. There's a sheen of ice on it right now, so. Oh, Lordy. All right, so. I, I would fill it, but it might be a warranty thing. I don't know. I don't want to do. Export a PDF. Yeah, 
and then I'll save it. I'll send it to my boss. They'll have the pressure readings on what I took. That's why I like these testos. And uh, see if this unloader module is doing anything. Ship like yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, it's unloading. Well, babysitting yet again. I'm just gonna fill out this stuff. Uh, take my crap off of here. Let it freeze up for tonight, I guess. Let it freeze up, I guess. Um, sure would be nice if we got the extra fans that, that are missing up here. We got two fans out up here, so two of these compressors are dropping out on high head. This one, if it does fire up, will drop out on a high head on this switch. This one's running, this one's not, and this one's running and unloading and loading. So that's the loader and unloader compressor there. But it gets shorter and shorter as it gets closer to its temperature there. So um, I'm just gonna fill some of this out I'm gonna give it to uh, my boss. He can see the pressure readings and temperature readings. The last temperature readings I took, and we'll call this. Uh, we'll call out the AC company, and if it does need to be filled, they can fill it because they replaced this uh, compressor about a year ago. So it could be under warranty. I'm not gonna mess with it. So another warranty thing. So, but uh, yeah. Let me uh, fill this out, guys, and uh, it's Jeff the Mains Man. You guys slap a like on this button. I got finally got a chance to use my Testos. I didn't want it to go down like this, but yeah, the unit's low on Freon. It's leaking somewhere, apparently, or it just wasn't filled ever right. I don't know what the case is. They can come back here and figure it out. It's Jeff the Maintenance Man. Y'all have a good day. I'm on. Kitchen. Get on RT UK1 interface. See what our return error is. I can live with that. 65.4 degrees input air. It's not working the way it's supposed to, but it'll keep them cool for today. Yep. And they keep it like cooling set point 73 so uh yep maybe that'll work i don't know